I just wanted to say, to open up, uh, how grateful I am for everyone here. Tricia, you were wonderful. I wish I had the commitment you had to talk about yourself and be strong about, about who you are. Oh, that's going to happen until I die. <laughs> I am a member of the Woodstock Community Choir, and I've really been, been blessed by them, blessed by the members, blessed by the uh, director, and I wrote a, a poem about Woodstock Community Choir. Being a member of the Woodstock Community Choir is so fulfilling. The blending of voices bring happiness to my very soul. Our director is a person of many gifts who uses them to make the group great. We are blessed with many members who love to sing for our group. Their output of voices gives so much for the community to love and have great pride. As a bird sings a song, this choir's voices show God how proud he can be of us. When all voices together form a single voice, we provide a tribute to our community. We then become a beacon to all who participates in this great organization. We practice each song with great instruction, working towards excellence in music. Our complete focus is to help our director lead us rightfully in harmonic peace. After many practices, we polish up each piece into a well-oiled work for all to love. Our pride for the Wichita Community Choir shows in each concert we perform, and there is one coming up in January, so please don't miss it. <laughs> Glory be to the Wichita Community Choir in the years past, present, and future. <laughs> Thanks very much. Most of my poetry is more uh, in a spiritual sense. I'm writing more about what I believe spiritually, not religiously, but spiritually, and I, want, I write about that. And this uh, poem is about when the spirit moves. When we wake up in the morning and say, thank you, God, for waking me, that's when the spirit moves. When we perform a selfless task for any one human soul, that's when the spirit moves. God provides us a life to do a good deed. The next thing to do is to plant a seed. As our seed grows, our focus should be steady to obtain a result that shows God we're ready. Our commitment needs to be very strong so that we are all singing the same song. God, glory to God is the focus of today for me. So keep Jesus in your heart each and every day. When the need to be truthful and pass judgment no more, when the need is to be truthful and pass judgment no more, that's when the spirit moves. When a person only lives to walk the straight path and follow God's rules, that's when the spirit moves. Let the spirit move you in perfect harmony, showing God you love him quite perfectly. Thank you. Now, I've been really um, in touch with the fruits of the Spirit. That's in the book of Galatians in the, in the Bible. And I wrote a, uh, a poem about that. When things in life are led by the flesh, there are laws to enforce these acts. Whereas, when things in life are led by the Spirit, there are no laws for this. There are nine fruits of the Spirit that a person can follow to live a clean Christian life. The first three fruits are love, joy, and peace, which show the spirit how to live, how to dance, and how to have rest. The next three fruits are patience, kindness, and goodness, which show the spirit how to wait, how to give, and how to move. The last three fruits are gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control, which show the spirit how to act, how to dwell, and how to smile. Life would sure be worth living if every person used their spiritual side more often. 
using their flesh side would pervert their ability to live a good life. God would be so proud of his creation if we did show our spiritual side more often. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.